My name is James Mutunzi. I fellowship here at United Christian Center. United Christian Center. I am pastored by Bishop Stephen Senfuma. I am a married man. Ni musajja mufumbo. To Judith Mutunzi. And uh, we have been married for the last 18 years. Uh, God has blessed us with five children. And uh, we love the Lord. I am an accountant by profession. But a teacher by calling. So even this day. I am going to teach you. Normally when I'm before the singles, I teach with passion. Who I, because for the last 12 years, now 13, uh, I have been teaching, counsel, I teach counseling. Now by virtue of being a, a, counselor, a counselor and a teacher of counselors, Somehow it has opened doors, if I may call them, for many people to approach me. And because of the things people have said and the questions they have asked, it has led me to discover the general feeling of the singles. The first challenging thing especially in the Christian circles. People call themselves things they don't know. Like for example, today we are here for a singles conference. And everybody has come knowing he or she is a single. But if one were to ask you a direct question, that who is a single, you may fail to answer that question. You may fail really to say it, yet you qualify yourself to be a single. And still, still you the singles, you don't know your expectations. But then I would, I would want to remind you that our conference today is centering on the topic Love versus submission. And as we begin today, I want you to understand that you, you are not born a single, but it is your decision either to remain a single or to come out of it. If I may define who a single is, this is a person of age who has sat down and carefully considered marriage. One, someone of age. And Uganda, our age, our mature age is 18. But, but then I would like to add that 18 may be too young for someone to get married. But of course other, other factors held constant. And then still I would say if you are still going to school I don't think still you qualify to be a single. So we are saying, number one, a single must be of age. Number two, for someone to qualify to be a single, that person must have sat down 
thought about marriage issues. And that person must have made a decision either to get married or not to get married. So we are saying the third point you must have decided. If you are still with me, say amen. Next. You as a single, and especially a single in relation to marriage. Remember, singlehood, now we are relating it to marriage. You must understand that the marriage you want to go in was not invented by, by man, but it was begun by God. Are we still together? Whenever I think about marriage, you are thinking about something that was designed and pre-programmed by God for you. Because if you go to Genesis, the chapter is 2. And the verse is 18. It is God who looked at Adam and made a statement and said it isn't good for man to stay alone. This is what I believe. If God sees it isn't good, I choose to agree with him. I don't know about you, but me I choose to agree with God. Another thing you must understand is that marriage is not a fun party, but it is a responsibility. When you want to get married, this must be at the back of your mind. That you are going to get two titles. As you are there, there are two titles you don't have. But when you get married, you get a title which gives birth to another title. When a single gets married, that person becomes a husband or a wife. Then after some time, that person becomes a parent. Now those are titles you should prepare for. But then I want you to understand this. Every title that you get comes with responsibility. And that responsibility at one time you are going to give accountability. That means before you rush. Before you get excited. First understand that what you want to enter into has responsibility attached to it. And that responsibility that you're going to get, you're going to give an accountability for it one day. So as you wish to move from where you are and go to another level, put those things deep down you. And another thing I want to remind you, you and I have one heart. It's only one heart. That means that don't play around with it. Don't be careless with it. Most of the people I've spoken to, they say, I gave my heart to so and so. And the person I gave it to broke it. And most of you here, some, some of you here have half hearts. 
Katinga tetunata ni kana kumanyo nyola biyabwa singo. Now before even begin to explain to you things of singlehood. Ate tulina kusoka kujanja ba mutima. We have again to first mend the hearts. Katinga chibuzo ne chija. So the question comes in. Ate ranja galabalabola. And I want to warn you. Bo manyanti olino mutima gumu. If you are sure that you have one heart. Ruacho malaga gujaja miango manyori na gumu. Why do you just handle it with carelessness yet you know you have one? Wachiri wayo biorine vinji. At least give out some of the parts that you have in numbers. Obu galorina kumi. You have ten fingers. Wayo koka mu. At least give out one. Wachiri webana amenya kono nyuele la kumuenda. Maybe when, <laughs> when they break one you remain with the nine. Bible the Bible tells us in Proverbs yakuna, chapter 4 and verses 23. Bible tugamba kuma omutima go. The Bible tells us that guard your heart. Echibuzo. The question. How have you kept your heart? The way you keep your heart is what will determine what comes out of you. Because the Bible continues to tell us that when you guard it well, out of it flows the issues of life. And when you play around with it, still there will be the springs that come out of it. But the problem with the springs that will come out of it this time around and from that heart that is not guarded, there will be very dangerous springs that have death in them with evil in them and there are very many people. The truth is that you want to get married. But yet your heart, out of it comes things that you cannot understand. But remember today, we didn't come here so much to speak about the heart. And yet we can't speak about marriage and leave out the heart. Because all the things we are going to talk about, submission and love, those things originate from the heart. They come from within. They are birthed from within. You just decide to accept them or to refuse them. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 5. And I want to begin from verse 21. Ephesians chapter 5. And verse 21. Let me also remind you this. As we go on with sharing, I ask you to note down your question somewhere. We have pastors who are going to respond to those questions. And, and I believe that by the end of this session, the Lord will have spoken to you. This is what the Bible says. Submit to one another in the fear of the Lord. Wives, submit your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife as also Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body. Verse 24. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Verse 25. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. Now there are instructions that we read in this text 
that are showing you what you should prepare for as you desire to live singlehood and enter marriage. First of all, and something I want you to understand, in verse 21 they say submitting to one another in the fear of the Lord. Now listen to this. This morning here, we are not nurturing any other single. But we are nurturing a Christian single. If you understand, say amen. We are trying to build a single who believes in Christ. And I believe that is the one that will help us to give birth to and nurture a God-fearing generation. Say amen if you're still with me. And that's why the Bible tells us in Malachi chapter 2 and verses 15. He speaks and says, Didn't he make one? However much there were many others. Now here, I am paraphrasing it so that you understand. It. What God was saying here that I made for Adam only one wife. However much I had many more spirits. And God was saying, if I desired, I would have made for Adam very many wives. But I made for him only one. Because I had a reason. And he also gives the reason. And he says, I gave him one. So that he can nurture for me a generation that fears the Lord. If you want to live singlehood, within you, you must assign yourself a responsibility that ahead of time, you will give us a God-fearing generation. Now that one makes you to rethink and then you measure yourself. And you ask yourself, me who wants to live it? Me who wants to live singlehood? Can I nurture a God-fearing generation? First ask yourself. And you who cannot? First wait to live because that takes you back to even ask yourself what are these descendants that fear God and how do they nurture them what if they refuse don't I quit I think you can see the responsibility. I think the whole of today I will be reminding you that marriage is not wedding. Marriage is responsibility. So you must ask yourself have you achieved the level to take on this responsibility? The Bible has given us counsel in Ephesians 5.21 Submit to one another and says as you would to God. So that takes us back to ask what is submitting? I told him a teacher and I'm going to teach. And when I teach, I give you homework. <laughs> when we are speaking about submission, submission is giving yourself to another person's authority. So when they tell you to submit, they are telling you, be prepared, 
Wete kiteke. To go under another person's authority. Okukirizo kubera wansi wabu yinza wumu tomula. And for this they are saying. Era kuruachi no bagamba. That you girls. Tigumu abawala. As you are getting ready to get married, you must be ready to commit yourself to the authority of your husband. And the ladies said, Amen. Abachala ne bagamba Amina. Eh, mwedi, but then those at Mujabiogera. Now this one takes us to another level. Chino chitutuala kudale dala. That means before you accept someone to marry you, first wear and see whether you can give in to that person's authority. There are many of us who want to get married, but they want to remain above authority. Now that one cannot happen. And that is the cause that has brought many to separate. Again, she gets married in a hurry. She first enters after having closed in for herself. And then she, she begins to ask herself, but can I really submit to this one? Because she weighs him, she sees that he's not very tall and not very fat. And then she sees that he has no vision. And she says, no. Pastor, I made a loss. That's why we tell you. Marriage issues are not taken with hurry. First skin look at him. And see whether you will submit to him. If you cannot, I give you counsel. See otherwise. Aro. Hello. <laughs> See otherwise. And that's why we say all people before they get married to each other. This is a, a command. Communication is a must. Communication is a must. Chateka. Oh, you're going to the one you're going to marry. Oh, or to get married to. You must spare time to communicate to each other. And I want to tell you. A person who cannot give you time to talk to. First ignore him or her also Until he or she finds time to speak to you <laughs> Those things of coming and telling you I'm going to marry you Gives you the budget and then disappears The boys The boys and our no, men also no, need help. They even don't know how to be truth. There's someone I was told of. He's a, he just came and said, sister. <laughs> this is the wedding budget. Please add in the things I've missed out. Sister Anjulani. And the sister asked him, Who is introducing who? And the brother ran and came to me and told me they respond badly. But when I made my search, this guy got hold of the wedding budget and said, Add in the things that are missing. This is what I say. The time you spend while communicating to each other helps you to discover yourselves. I don't know whether you've heard that. 
The top seat to discover yourselves. I would even give you counsel. Do things of WhatsApp, Facebook, and the rest. You should first put them aside. And come and meet him or her face to face. And he speak. Because it's from that that you can know whether he greets or not. You might reach and he immediately starts, okay, you have come, now what I wanted is this and this. Then you will know that person does not greet and then you begin to wait. Will I be able to submit to someone who does not greet? Some, <laughs> Some of us who are nurtured in homes where greeting is a policy, if you don't greet me, then we will not relate. By the way, and however much I'm not going to speak about it today. But even the things you speak should be intentional. You don't just speak anyhow. Okay, some of you, when you meet, you only talk about the Bible. Samsonia <laughs> For me, Samson works for me. <laughs> Only Samson. Now the other one is Samson. Talk about the issues that concern you. That is what is going to help you. Discovering yourselves. Communication is a must. Shateka. Even the Baganda have a way they bring out and they say that before someone utters out anything, you can never know whether he's wise or foolish. Now, some people, when they discover that they are not all that wise, still they don't speak so much. And then you confront someone. It's not until you first reach there and then you discover that surely yeah, he has no wisdom. I speak these things because I know them. When we are speaking about wisdom, you cannot be wise before you have knowledge. That's why they say that wisdom is applied knowledge. Yes, Now, what are you going to apply if you don't have knowledge? So you first get married to them, and then you discover that he has no knowledge, and that assures you that he has no wisdom as well. And then within you, you speak and say, I cannot submit to him. And that's why I say, please communicate to each other. And actually, in this communication, it's from that that you know their families. It's when you get to know whether they have siblings. And that's when you get to know the relationship between him and his siblings. That even helps you to know whether he has a vision. And you young men have visions. I always ask a few of them that I landed on. And I ask him, are you going to marry? He says, yes. What do you see yourself becoming in five years? Ah. Only God knows. And yet even that one wants to marry. 
Njagala kubulida nebono tuka yojabi mubuzanga agamba mukama ya amanyi. I want to tell you that even when you cross to the other side, you'll ask him and you'll be saying, only God knows. And I also want to assure you, someone who has no vision, he will not take you anywhere. What comes next after that? That causes the girl to begin also devise means. And she begins to bring her own vision. And now the husband who had put in something. And now in that way, the family will be upside down. And that's why you see. As we speak about the person you're going to get married to. And you are meant to submit to him. <laughs> First make sure that he can be submitted that, to. That seriously you can submit to him. Because the rule is. Wives. Submit. To your husbands. If you cannot submit to him, do not get married to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, whenever you talk about submission, people are like, How comes it is we to submit? For you, who did you want to submit? And only that you've not yet thought about it. But also, a man who submits to you is not really a husband. When you're the one who speaks and he always only says, Yes, my wife, yes, my wife. I want to tell you the truth. These things you will not enjoy them. Only that even the brothers need strong prayers. Because if you are to submit to someone, that person must be a little up. Because the truth is, in wisdom, spiritual things, he's economically sound. Okay, at that time, he may not be economically sound. But at least he has a vision to that. He has a plan to that. But this one who speaks and says, I don't know, only God knows when he will take us there. Normally, when women are told to submit, they think God has given them something so hard. Whatever it is we they are telling to submit. For they just tell you only to love. Who cannot love? Let me tell you. It's only that you don't know love. For you wives or women to be told only to submit. They gave you a lighter burden. The husband they told to love. You don't know what they gave to him. You Leave alone the fake love, but real love has very many things in there. Leave alone the things where you get excited and get excited. And in most cases, people confuse like and lust to love. Even liking. No, liking. Liking, echo. liking. Oh, echo. Oni na kuata liking na jifura chidavu. Someone gets hold of like and makes it love. Ngagama zimomuntu wuri da. 
<laughs> and if, you really feel like you like someone. But yet the truth is that you don't love him or her. If we are to consider love, love is a thing of the heart. Love chintu mutima. If it is true love, it stems from the heart. And if we are talking about love, love is conceived. You get, you conceive love. I want us to first consider love here. And then you'll get to know the assignment given to men. We said for love, you have to first conceive it. After conceiving it, it is up to you whether to abort I'm talking about this pregnancy I know some of you might have switched off and by the time you come back to your senses we are talking about aborting I am talking about a, a, a love pregnancy you might conceive Love. It might come. Per se, after seeing someone. And you love him or her. And that love is mingled up with some kind of lust. And there is something that has caused you to melt. Mama, the height, mama, the muscle. And you, say, <laughs> and you say, oh my God, the height, oh my God, the muscle. But only that she's silent. Then it's not until he speaks. Because you can find out. And they say, oh, he has no wisdom. No, just imagine. He has his height. He has his muscles. But by the time you speak to him, and he says, why, why don't we first have sex and then we get married? Then there you get to know that person has no sense. I would have told you that you tell them like that way, but the truth is they are senseless. So if you had a seed of love that fell in you because of him, I would tell you that about that one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen, you might leave the love to grow. Slowly by slowly, you see him as you communicate and other many things. But time comes and the love is birthed. I want this to penetrate into you. That love is a living thing. It is a living thing. And here it is birthed. Only that you don't know about it. But producing love also requires strength. Just as a baby is born. If love is to grow, it needs to be taken care you of. must nurture love. If you don't nurture love, like if you don't nurture a kid, this kid may grow malnourished. And most of you, because you didn't nurture your love, it is there, it is lukewarm. It is there, there. So if you neglect love, it can stand. 
Kusoboru kona. Eh. Atoru vanyuma ne kufa. It can stand it can get stunted and later dies. Togera kumukwano. We are talking about love. We are talking about love. Most of you, the reason as to why you're still in singlehood, it's not because they have never loved you, but because you strangled the love that came. Now you need the pastors to come and pray we, and pray for you, anoint you, so that that love can resurrect again. Why? Because you were reckless about it. And it got stunted. And some of you, it even died. Okay, the truth is, pastors do miracles. But let me ask you. The truth is that if you raise a dead person, it's good. <laughs> but who would, love to, who would love to stay with someone who has just been raised? Because it's a miracle. He was dead and then raised. You begin to ask, you begin to doubt such a one. You ask him, do you really understand? Because you don't know and you're not sure whether at the time when he died, maybe he got a mental problem. And it's from here that I give you counsel. Most especially you singles and those in courtship. If you played around with love, go back and treat it. And to some of you, the things that break you down, they even discourage me. Okay, I know some of you have a particular standard where But I'll are. tell you of a, of a couple that was going to fail because of a very cheap, even silly thing. Sister, because the sister was highly educated, she began to question the brother very many times. And one of the questions he asked, she asked him, what is your blood group? She asked him, blood group yo yeriwa. Blaza na damu ready. Bambi yalita bimanyi. And the brother responded, my blood group is red. Because red. he was ignorant about it. <laughs> Now. And the sister said, I am not continuing with him because he is even lacking wisdom. Okay, how many of you girls here know your blood groups? You are there just confusing us. So the brother needed to just be explained to. Blood group, what are you oh? That blood group, there is O. Oh. Let me also explain the brother so that you don't again what hit you off. Oh. There is O. A. A. B. B. A. 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 A. B. A. B. A. B. A. B. A. Now those who have had letters, next time when they ask them what is your blood group, they will say my blood group is so powerful, mine is Z, and that one does not exist. But I also want to tell you that is a very minor thing. That one cannot soil your love. If he doesn't know those things, take him there. But even that brother, when he was about to be taken there, he first ran for so long. He would fear the injection. He thinks his blood will reduce. All those ones also marry. But we are still talking about love. If you played around with your love and you lost it, please put back 
put yourself right again. But we go back to the question. As we talk about love, the man who has been told to love, what have they told him? And these are things that you need even to wear against. When you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the Bible talks about the things we find in love. And when you look at them, you reach time and you realize that very many things you are told to this man. You realize that the husband has a weightier assignment. They explained what truly love is. And when God told the husband that your assignment is to love, these are the things that he was telling him to do. First of all, all the things are in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. You'll begin from verse 4 up to verse 8. When God told the husband that love your wife, he was telling him first of all, you husband, always be patient with your wife. Have you heard that? Do you know that most of you are not easy to be patient with? The problem is that when I speak like that, you also respond and say, even you, it's very hard to be patient with you. But here they were telling the man that be patient. But, but listen, the person they are telling to be patient with, he never grew up with her. She will begin to do certain crazy things. And most of you enter marriage with references. This is how we used to do our things at home. For us, this is how we used to eat. It's like now in our home, when we were growing up, silver fish, it would be mingled up in posho and given to dogs. And the truth is that we grew up thinking that silver fish is for dogs. And then my sister went and got married. And yet the brother, they used to eat silver fish in their home. For her, she doesn't believe that. The husband brought it. And the wife said, I'm not frying them. And the husband fried them. And he brought his wife to eat. And the wife told him, just like you have fried them and have even eaten them, do not come close to me. Don't you see it looks like a joke? But it was, she almost divorced. We had to explain to her that they eat. And now she asked me, are you now eating it? I told her I'm also struggling to eat them. I really eat them. Now I found them when they were in disagreements and yet they are highly educated. And I told the husband, please be patient with her. And the husband was telling me, first cancel her. If she's not going to accept silver fish, we are not going to relate. I had to explain to them how can silver fish separate you. Born again, how can silver fish separate you? And I remember I told her one thing. And I, told, I asked him, do you really love my sister? I told <laughs> He told me, 
Putting aside silver fish. Nemugamba to sobora kwa galanga to inaku. And I told him, you cannot love if you have no patience. Be patient with her. Mpola, mpola. Slowly by slowly. Ajakuchuka. She will change. Why does God demand that a, a man love in patience? Because remember when you get married, the instruction is, you shall become one. The day they wed you is not the day you become. Becoming one is a journey which requires patience if it is to hold. Say amen if you are still are you ready to be patient? Secondly, when they tell you to love, they were telling the man that always be merciful to your wife. You can measure and weigh whether that man loves you. Looking at the way he treats you. Is he merciful to you or not? If he is not merciful, chances are that he doesn't love you. Especially at the beginning. <laughs> He keeps deceiving you ahead of time. I will be merciful, but for now, if you are beginning, things are always easier to do. Not even doing, but pretending to do. And most of those people that pretend are always girls. Isn't it so? Someone takes you out and you only pick out one chip and you bite a bit of it. You even fail to finish the whole chicken. It is... It is not until you take her home. You find her holding one sweet potato here and another one is holding a yam. You think you are going to be with her and you are not going to be with her. You think you are going to be with her and you are not going to be with her. You think you are going to be with her and you are not going to be with her. It is then that you understand that she can get all of them and bite them at once without chopping them first. What am I saying? Banna ye wanonga tutandika. At the beginning, and they made also this a command. Bring out the whole you, your real self. Don't pretend. By the way, both of you. Now here we'll be handling another topic altogether. A single has to have core values. You as a single, there are certain things that you must insist on. And you say without this, we are not going forward. It's because that's how you think. Stop pretending. Let me give you an example. They are sisters. Haven't we talked about submission? When for her, she cannot accept to remain jobless. I have to work. And she says, in the Nino Kora. And yet the husband who wants to take you says, you are not going to work. What will you do? That one is called a koa. You don't want to chase yourself. Begin to suggest, bring suggestions about it. Now that's a koa. 
lest we find the, the sister holding the bag and taking off saying I'm going to work and the husband is chasing us saying you're not going anywhere that's a core even the core values needs, need to be talked about. <laughs> the things that you can't accept. Someone makes you sit and tells you, wife. You're not yet a wife. Yes. <laughs> and he tells you, for us in our family, we beat women. That is his core. So go there and rest assured that you will lie down at one time. Over boat mission. Over mission of Jivem. Coas. Among the people I have so far counseled. And this was a young couple. A woman came and told me that the man is seriously beating me. Yankapo. When the woman told me, I asked her whether I would speak to the husband. She told me it's okay. Because I told her, for someone to beat you, surely he will, never, he will, not, he will not have shown you kindness. Njagalaje. I want him to come. Kindness to the spouse. That I may explain to him kindness. Probably he will understand the things. The, the man came. I thought I would explain to him. But when he arrived. I explained. I told him your wife. Yambuli denti omukuba told me that you beat her. Umami nanga ayakurimbe. The husband told me, no, she deceived you. Yakurimbe fetuliva chiga. She deceived you. For us we have a chiga. Wuleni zabe yangamba. Listen to what he told me. Nagamba titurate la turahutura. Ayaya. Tifete tuku babukubi na yetu utula. If she told you that I came her, it is an understatement. Me, I strike. <laughs> I had, I felt pain. So I told her, but now we want to talk about these issues of being kind to your wife. Is that why you called me? And then she asked me, I thought it was a developmental meeting or what? That's why I'm here. Never knew that surely God exists up there. God is up there. And he stood up and left. But as he was going, I called him back. And he came back. And he asked me, why have you called me? <laughs> I began to saw myself as someone who is supposed to be striked also. But I also put on wrath. And I told him, if God really exists up there, strike her again. And he asked me, what will you do to me? It isn't about me. And I told him, since it's about that God. And he left. I am here to testify that there is a God who can strike. That very day, that man, as he was going back home to strike him. Okay, as you go to Ginger Road. Mm, okay. He went and scratched on the car of someone. And the man went out of his car and checked his car. <laughs> And oh, even the no. other one went out to come yeah, and check. Mkwata. This one got hold of him. Na and beat him. 
And afterwards entered his car and left. What happens when we take Listen. That man went back and told his wife. I don't mean that I don't think that man of yours is, is a man of God. <laughs> this is what he says. He says that the man told me that if I'm going to strike you, then they will also strike me first. And the man beat me for that. We were making a corner. And then later the wife called me. And he said, my brother. Oh. She asked me whether the man came and I told her he came. And she asked me what did you speak. And I explained to her. And she said, Pastor, thank you. They beat him. Now, that was not what I intended. But anyway, <laughs> the husband stopped beating his wife. By the even today is my friend. But he reminds me of that. I have to be careful of you. <laughs> Every time he comes, he says, I have to be careful of you. But he's my friend. How do you trust someone when you are kind? Now here they are telling the man Be kind That's only the second one When we are to look at all the things They are nine That we get from here It means You as a girl or a female, you were given a lighter assignment. And then a heavier assignment was given to the man. But, but only that you've not yet carefully considered them. That's why you think that the man was given a lighter assignment. But this is what I want to inform you. If a man happens to love the way he ought to love, you cannot fail to submit to him. But where the chaos is, his love is partial and yet he wants you to submit to him. And to some of you what has caused you to fail to submit are physical things. Maybe sometimes the wife is better off financially or the wife is more educated. And those are the things that you always pioneer. But you, boy, whether he, he is educated, whether he gets much money, just love her. He will bring all the money that he gets. He will keep bringing the money. And you're the one even who, get, who holds some of her no, money. No, 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 no. And you tell no, her that no, 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 no. And yet she's the one who has brought it. Now I may not finish the whole list. But if you are to look at that list. Living alone, the man being kind. He must be a giver. Boy's generousness. Mugabi. Mugabi, you should be generous. The Bible demands your generosity. Bible, vis-a-vis okugaba. Nayate, if I'm to talk about love versus generosity. Some of you even want to be given before the 
they even marry you. Na hata hicho techitegeza anti mwami gwa gendo kuwasa munno to muwapa karono muwasa. But again that does not mean that you man who is going to marry her don't give her until you marry her. Na hichi ne chisera che mumalanga mukolagana. But this time that you spend relating. Otoka no pima munno. Time comes and you wear your friend. No manya mugavi. And you get to know he is a giver. Oh, what's he mugavi? Oh, he's not. Na he mu jukire na tadeo disclaimer. But remember, I mentioned the disclaimer. Bana he mu courtship mu ekoza. In courtship, you over pretend. Na kuguli da ya time. Buys for ya time. Na kuvuza tona mu malako over the tea mu maleko. He asks you, the airtime is not yet over. What is wrong with you? Please finish it. <laughs> but yet he's giving it out for the last time. The truth is there is too much pretense. But I want to assure you if you are to build real love, you have to be generous. Give him, give her something. And this is what God was saying. Meet her at her point of need. But you also, as we give you, you also know what we cannot handle. You are there comparing yourself to your friends that you hear. Not even the ones you hear, but the ones you watch on TV. Excuse me. Mm, if you want me to accept Neil Down, when Neil Down is going down, you know the person you're making to Neil. Ebyo bila bia kutivi katibi oleta, nziguri la oleji nyingire ajia kuleka. Na hato chote chidja kutege zambu takuagala. If you tell him to open for you the door and you enter and he doesn't, it doesn't mean that he does not oh, love no, you. No, Remember we are in Africa. Because there are some things he cannot do. We are in Africa. Ate Africa, in Uganda. Ate, simu Africa choka, na ye mugwangali atu Uganda. Ate mu Uganda, in Chikoni. Ate ngo vude kubia Uganda na yu mchikoni chafe. Katigwe yo jojebi ntu biyoda biyo kutivi. Now if you bring the things you've seen from abroad on television. Katibiyo ya gara bakore. And you want people to do them for you here in chikoni. Ate jukida na bambo gambo bikore. And remember even some of the people are telling to do them for you. They don't watch that television you watch. They even don't know them. Born in chikoni. Born in Yazali Mamuchikoni. Lives in Chikoni. Avera Muchikoni. Grows in Chikoni. Akuli de Muchikoni. Kwegambari Chikoni through and through. Kwegambaye omsai guguji de Muchikoni. Cutting gave you Lina Bimu Yigiriza Mpola. So you just have to teach him those things slowly by slowly. By the generosity is a topic on itself. Because, because now the men are asking themselves to what extent should I give up? And when should I give up? And I want to warn you some of those ones are the two thirds. You still have the analog phone. I'm talking about you, gentlemen. Then for you want to buy for her the one that is, car, uh, is current. Excuse me, darling. Sasira muko mkwano. Omaimu manyo kwe itamanya. Yate na manya na uge taga kunyonyoro. You know you have names that you call yourselves and they also need some explanation. Erango ono mkura. Omu ite erinya liakabi. And if you are to detooth him, you call him that high class name. My heart beat. Ha 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 ha. Now you're starting like that just to ask a phone from him that he has also never heard of. And then you explain to him, but remember he loves you. Ate is generous at that. Then you explain to him what he is saying. You look at it and it opens up itself. When you handle it like this, it begins to explain. 
And then he began to tell him, Munange and Kubayo Mutima Gwange, buy it for me. Na kubuza ya meka. And then he asks you, How much is it? Na mugamba, kamne chitu ndukoka. And he tell him, It's only 1.5 million. Ye ye ja kute ye tano. And yet he is holding the one of 50,000. Kati wajukuma, no gamba, he is not generous. Now when he refuses to give it to you or to buy it for you, say, Ah, Simogabi. Generosity should be gauged. In relation to your condition and his condition. And also to truly give you, I am suggesting you should do it after confirming. And I beseech you. Let the things they give you not corrupt your hearts. Look at those things and oversee them. And look at the one who, with whom you're going to stay. And to the girl. And see whether you can submit to him. As a boy. And see whether you can surely love her. Are we still together? That's why I tell you do not base your love on the things you are given. And likewise, you. Gentlemen. Don't gauge your love depending on the appearance of that girl right now. That present look. When she's still in straightened up skin. When the cheek has no wrinkle in it. When the belly is still that Westline, West you have to overlook those things and see that however much wrinkles appear on her cheeks, however much she loses her waistline, because at a certain time they disappear, she becomes pregnant and she begins to ask for things you don't understand and then she gives birth the one who would use a cup <laughs> she begins to take porridge <laughs> in a small basin. now the question is when the westline has disappeared <laughs> and these days they even sell bums and hips. You find her when she has bought her own bum. And you say, wow. Not until you take her home. And when she comes out of the bathroom. <laughs> you might even faint. You might faint. What happened? You just ask yourself, Sister Nasoma. Sister. Nasoma kinds of erosion. I studied, uh, I studied about different types of erosion. Na ye hip and kabina erosion is a visoma. Over dechi. Na ye okuyiringita kwa kabina na Corona mazoku yesu murura. They should have taken them off. And then she enters. And some are very direct. Because this is how one told his husband. And she told him, I knew you would not love me without putting it on. Now accept. This is how I truly appear. Now the husband comes running. He de she deceived me. What? She's fake. And he told me the things. And I told him, you even survived. She only took off the hips and the bums. 
But how would it look like if she had taken off everything? And she takes out the teeth and puts them down. How would it be? Then sisters ask. <laughs> if I don't have teeth, should I show them to him or not? No, but seriously, the thing is this. Maybe the present state. Overlook the present state concerning your love. And I would ask still. That Almighty God. Remember, He knows very many things. Inquire from Him. Consult. He's going to speak to you. And he will tell you that man doesn't truly love you. And he will tell you that girl doesn't truly love you. I have really hearkened to I think things. let me close with this. There is a girl who got married just to win a competition. They were in church and all girls were in for this man and then the girls said I'm going to show you I am going to win the contest by the way this girl won the contest and in the later stage, they married her. This is her story. When she looked at the man for the first time, when was that? When they were on the pulpit. The first day she looked at him seriously. She saw that she was not loving him. their wedding? Tape. Are you going to get married to her? To him? She remained silent. They asked her for the second time. When the whole church was dead silent, they asked her for the third time. And she said, Okay. Okay. <laughs> They told her they don't say okay. I do. They told her they say when Nakola. And she responded. But you really see that she was not doing it. She from goes her. into this marriage. And now they are living apart. She says, I have never loved him. But God can easily show you that that girl is a counterfeit. That man is a counterfeit. Because if you are going to just use your judgment and given the girls who have come up with a questionnaire, questionnaire. how tall are you? Six point what? Five? Tano. A bit low. Okay. Uh, uh, muko, na ye. <laughs> Level of education. Degree. Degree. Okay, degree. Degree kare. In what? Degree mochi. Music, dance, and drum. <laughs> eh. Mo, eh mo so called First wait. People have come up with their questionnaire. But God is supreme. Because he's an omniscient God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why don't I end here? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I understand. I understand we are going in a question answer session. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you are in a courting, let me say, at least 
and in this period my name is it is covid period now um for a uh, lady now a man comes omulimu gwa mugwako kati natandiko kusabanti munange siri nayo ka air time mpayo ka air time no musimbo omutwalo to to ganya no gamba munange Meanwhile, also now, you know, walk or a corona and get a wood jat, a wood sibuliao, no more mutual, a chonechi guaco. Now, man and agamba, Timunange, I take rent by Garacungo, Bamukuvo, my munumba. No time, no time, go to me until the Zako, no gamba, take at Chochino, Chi, Chi handling at Kakatimusumba, a chin to which to which we are all. How do you handle that issue as a lady? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amanya gange bamtanda kazinorini. Nange ngani nechibuzo kanso kentu mure mutumira ko ba online members ntibona mbagala nyo. Kwange nange nalie yo. Hallelujah. Echibuzo change chirinti. Chirungi omusajja okugamba omukazi nti no nkwagala nenga ngatanaba kwelo woza nti obadala kitufu agenda kumuwasa kubanga wetusomye ku love first corinthians 13 4 to 8 ndabye nga love chintu chirala nyu but yo muntu ayenza okujana gamba i love you at the next day na gamba you know what it's over so is it good to tell somebody that i love you when you are not sure that you are going to marry her Abolukanda mukama yebazwe nange amanya agenze nansamba jowa ne mbadde mbuza bayogedde ku kyo kugaba naye basinze kyo gera ku side ya abami kati nzabuza anti yo mwala tasobola kugabira musajja haleluya kama yebazwe the princess and a church, the chooser, young a chirin, Tikuba to Gambio, Kubagu Mikiriza, Katuizok sang a boy in a gambant in Quagala. Then he moved Gamgenda Mogil at Namana Kugamba, a Yagalak soca Kurozako, Katio Sola Chugu Mikirizacho, Joso Komo, who did it over Nedda. Uh, mukama yebaziwe amanya gangenze eyuko tone bude wali ku church yaba chigala ani uh, ne buzo bibiri yagala bibuza musumbe tsoka we balo tusomese tsoke chibuzo uh, chigamba ah uh, wembanga ndi mukogerezo muchala Nenga te omuchala ebisere mwa abachala bamutebe gula bazibu okubitegera mutima nagugala ibanga dene nze nembero ko mugamba nkola ntia kati chiche nyinzo kola o eche chibuzo che chisoka echo kubiri a otuwado nyiri mu bible ngo gamba nti katonda yagamba si kirunji omusajjo kubera yika Bange mu Genesis wo gambi na ye ah uh, mu Bible ya Paulo agamba mubalwe balwa je agamba nti chichi osobola okubera we ka osobola okubera we ka katinze binsumbuwa omuntu taina kubera ye ka obansobola okubera nga Paulo ya gamba tinno kwe kiba kisoboka osobobera we ka kati bine bintu bibiri nyamba ko bi obimbulire mwe bale nyu amen amen okay hallelujah so kama ye bazwe doza tugena kufuna echo yo necho mwami yo tusoke tutwale ke byo omusomesa wa fa komewo for responses now, Sumba, we buddy. Now, we shall have those two people to take their questions. Um, Ravi is Stephen Semfuma. Welcome, Bishop Stephen Semfuma. He's with us. 
uh, Pastor Kasozi Robert na yeye aliwa munafe Pastor Cephas Kasozi Robert is with us era tujja kubenga lezo ngatwaniza msumba Dennis Musoke na yeye uya yingira we shall clap those hands as we welcome Pastor Dennis Musoke is entering so let's have those questions katufune bibuze ebyo bagenda kubera batimba ko kubidam kama ibaze them amanya mpitiba proskovia abasinga ba online wano ba maninga pastor an abali banda byeko nga cheyalinge njire ah njagalo kubuze ekibuzo kino kirai ka kiri mwe gumba kulwange boba no mulenzi kamuite mulenzi obanga ye alaga kwagala nyo nenga wamugamba ze sikwagala nenga ali willing ate nokulaga mbakadebi banaye ekintu echo omuntu okihandolinga otya Aburuganda mukama yebazuwe Amanya bampita akatwishuka Steven Ai kibuzo cyange nange kiri we kiti Cembuza omuntu bobanga tona bakurokoka Nofu no muntu ngo mwagara Kato muntu oyogoyagara no tukesera no rokoka naye no sigara ngo mwagara Chirunji oku sigarango otambula na ye oba echirara nga mukumwaga roko ochimanyi tineka tonda yagara kukora okwagara kwe ategwe ngo yagara omuntu oyo oba mm, oroku manya tikatonda yagara kukora okwagara kwe nokendeza lavu olija koyo omuntu naye nga tonda bakutegera omuntu katonda gwa kuretedde kati chembuza uh, atene chira nsonye ko kati kubanga mukwaga mukumwaga roko walo bugamba wembanga mwe 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 gamba mwe burira kati ate bagamba nti boyongero kuburira omuntu ebigambe byo kiba kiraga nti oboyongero kumyeze ndaga ebigambe byo waliko cheviretera okwagara kwa katondo obutatukirira kama abawomu Amen. Come here, but we. Praise the Lord. Kaso ketu anilize msome sawafe. Let's then, welcome our teacher. Then, wanaba webi huzo. Adia kuba wadembe. Okutuwa referensi. Uh, Aba sumba webali. Niba sobo lo kubeda anga babi handoli inga. Mukama yeba zibwe. Praise the Lord. Kanta andike nature Barbara. Let me begin with the one of Barbara. Yabada yogera ku generosity. She was talking about generosity. Gagamba anti omuntu wa kamulaba obakale mubadde mwenna COVID nalyo kajja kati nagwam natandiko kusaba air time natandiko kusaba rent oyo nyinza mudda mu bwenti ekisoka so the question about generosity that Barbara asks, this is how I can answer. First and foremost, how long have you spent with this person? And I believe the time you have spent together, you can gauge to know whether they are real or they are the truthers. And you can also see that it has been a situation. What if God is testing you? Because God can also do that. But what I request you, look at the time you have spent together. How has he been behaving? So can you handle what has befallen them? And you man, I also wouldn't expect you to be there without being creative. When every time you're making COVID that topic, COVID. who didn't see COVID? It's COVID that brought me here. So, 
So I answer you by telling you, gauge the time you've spent together. How has he been behaving? So what has changed? Mary is asking us that would it be good for one to tell another that they love them without them confirming? Listen to these single people. Do not uh, make the word love cheap. And I don't think it would be the first thing. I think we need to have you for one week when you're residents. I would think. That when you are approaching this person, begin by liking this person. Okay. Tandika like like First begin by liking that person. Then start the journey without telling them you love them. So afterwards, after talking to each other, moving for some time, so you can therefore tell them that you love them. But we have had people who tell others they love them. Yet some weak youths even make God come first. Sister, Dear sister, if a brother makes God come first, just chase him. Let him come back and tell you his own words. If God has told him some things, let him tell you his own words. Because they come and deceive you that I wouldn't have come to you, but it was God who clung on me. Just chase those ones. And by the way, there are rules in single, in singleship and then marriage. This is what we say. Get married to your friend. That means the time of courtship is for creating relationship, friendship. So when you ascertain that they are your friends, you can therefore go ahead. Some people say, I don't have time, but where you're going, you, you're going to be there till death. So I don't see the reason why you don't build a relationship or friendship. If friendship doesn't work out, extend the days. Continue building this friendship. Because if the friendship doesn't work out before any of you saying I do, when they say I do, it will be difficult. And they will expose you. And they will say, I don't know why I got married to you. Someone was asking whether it's only men who ought to give. The truth is, giving is two way. The man can give you. Nawe no mua. You also give him. Newa no papo gamba pima biomua. But here I say, gauge what you give him. Because you said they they said Kati let's give each other. Mo. And then you exceed. Nate jukire ran nabagambi. But remember I told you. Um, a person shouldn't deceive you with what they give you. Measure whether they love you. Another person asked. That if someone puts for you a, a rule. And say so I must first test. Before I marry you. They are usually add this. I don't take what I don't know. You're not born again. And when you see such a person, 
God has hoped to show you a wolf that has come to you. And I'm not telling you to call them wolves. But it's a wolf. Have we understood that? That person is not okay. Either in the mind. Let me not abuse them. But you must ask them again whether they are really born again. They say I'm born again. Even so and so did the same thing. The other one was the other person. For us we are born again. We test after I do. But let me also tell you. There is nothing good as that. After going through the criteria, let me not take you through that. Another question. Let me answer this generally. But The issue of courtship needs to be thought for. This person you're going to enter courtship with, I told you don't first give them your heart. And I gave you the reason because you have only one heart. They will break it. Yet we also don't make these hearts. It's God who will give you another heart. And I give you wisdom. Boys and girls. Pray about courtship. And to the boys. Before you even approach. I know you have the words but pray for yourself some, some of you need the covering if God has not covered you if you approach yourself you cannot accept yourself if someone asks whether you accept yourself when you can also not accept yourself. The next question. Someone was asking. God says it's not good. For man to be alone. Paul says. If it was possible. Everyone would remain single. I'll speak like a theologian anyway. God is saying it isn't good. Paul is giving a reason. Why he would think it's not good. But even Paul gives a reason. That for this reason. Because if I go in details, I will teach. He says for these reasons, it would be good for everyone to marry. But Ecclesiastes is clear. Ecclesiastes says two are better than one. If one falls, another can raise them up. Paul has his reasons why he was explaining in that in, in that manner. But I can conclude like this. Remember I said a single person is one who has thought about marriage and have, they've come to a level of deciding. And they say, I'll get married or I'll not. That is a single person. One who has not thought about it. When you have come for the singles conference, you're not yet a single person. First think about them. Weigh them. Pray about them. And always tell the Christian singles. 
They are 15 scriptures. You must have read them. Understood them. In order to qualify as a single Christian. There you can be on market. But some, but some of you ask questions. If I get tired, why divorce? You are not single. In marriage, there is no try and error. You must first see what is present. And then you go whole. The door is closed. Uh, you stay there too. What if it's epileptic? Learn, learn how to carry him, he's yours. <laughs> So that it doesn't fall down. <laughs> because you'd have already decided. You'd have already closed the door. Another question. What if I was for not a Christian? And then I get born again. Do I remain with this person? First Corinthians 7 speaks about it. But one of the things I want you to understand the marriage occurs after you taking the vows. I'm speaking about the marriage of Christians. So outside there, people think they are married due to different things. I've been with them, I bought for them a house, we begat children, that doesn't consider you married. So when we are counseling those people, we tell them, let's consider the children. What do we do to the children? Because it's a long story. But when we are answering you who, are, who got married before getting saved, Not married, cohabiting. who have been cohabiting, the Bible gives you wisdom. You can remain with your friend. They will change and understand your Christ. But if you see it's not what they are up to. For you who is not yet wedded, you are allowed no, to leave them. Is it understood? Is there anything I've left? I think we are going to answer the, the questions. In the paper. Someone asked. If I'm not wedded first, and I find that he's important. Ate nensanga nga yatomerwa endiga. Oba, nge bitundu bie, tebiakula. Kati zeche bitundu tebiakula, chivade chinemi okusuma. Nga biabati. So the question is, if I have not had intercourse with them, and in marriage I discover they are important, or their parts are not fully developed, what do I do? So here we are going to speak about the covenant. Pastor Sakira, the singles pastor. Some things have to come back and we speak about the covenant. We ask ourselves. When does a person enter a covenant? When? Where they come to a point of saying I do. 
That's why I normally give you counsel. That even when you come to this altar, and then you're not sure of a certain thing, Gamba, you don't. Say, I don't. Let's first ascertain again. Because a covenant is a door. Are we still together? I also don't understand a covenant. That's why for us we don't wed you without teaching you. You first study. We tell you that in good and bad, we explain to you what bad is. I don't want you to explain to us after that you were not meaning that bad. Joshua made a covenant with the Gibeonites who had even deceived him. But God honored that covenant. That same covenant led the leaders of the Israelites to be healed. So we must ask ourselves, when is the covenant? After entering into it, me as James, I tell you, you would have knocked, yet you have already entered. That's why I told you, let's pray to God. For him, he's able to help us. I don't have time, but I would have told you about my sister. God warned her. I also warned her, but she would not understand. All five. I had a sister. Naina sister wange. I had my sister who reached a point and saw a brother. This is a sister who is referred to as someone who had made certain things for her soul. She had studied and she was an engineer. And my sister is an accountant. In, in my family, I relate so well with my sister, so I learned first. She, she told me I've got. When she told me, I also came here. I prayed. I heard it wasn't working out. I went back and told her. I told her I feel he's not the one. She asked me why. She asked me why I told her I don't know, but I feel it's not the one. Now, unfortunately, that girl is my stepsister. So she ran and told her mother. Remember, she had not told her mother. She didn't even know what and everything. She told her mother, I've got someone to marry me, but Jim has refused. Mama wena amugamba. Her mother told her. Once a step brother. Wava step brother. A sigala step brother. Nagamba takwa gariza. Her mother said, doesn't wish for you well. My sister ran and even reported me to my father. So for them, they understood when she was reporting me. Story in Pamfuko. The story is law. My father called me. Nagamba, what is the reason? And told me in Songa I also didn't have the reason. But I felt it wasn't so. Not to, to cut the long story short. They went forward with the arrangements. But my father still had the other instinct. Jim knows something. Why isn't he telling us? Anyway, they arranged, the man even went home to inform them. As he was coming back, he got an accident and he died. 
Listen to the chaos that was there. Mama was stepsister one. The mother to my stepsister. She knew that the person to tell her the truth was me. And she called me. Please help us. The husband to your sister was coming back and he died. It's only who can accept and comfort her. Please come. That time I'd gone to work. I, I came. I went to Bukoto. I reached there. But I was figuring out how to speak that information. How do you speak about that? Let's clap for Pastor Isaac. Pastor Isaac and the wife we are delighted to see you. How do you speak about that news? But I hurried and reached there. I used the little wisdom that I had. I told her, have you had the news? He, I told her, they've told me your fiancé was coming from the village. He got an accident, but I don't know his current state. But as I was speaking that, he had died. But I was preparing her. So I also uh, uh, she was asking she hasn't he hasn't called me, but I also got her phones when I entered the house. Afterwards I told her that he had died. Of course he has so can na closing a system. She first closed up her sister. She was as if she was insane. I didn't know that the mom was also around. And you know, I told her that's what she told me. That's what she told me. But she told me, James, you delivered me from being the youngest widow in town. But when I understood this, I didn't know what was taking place. But we have a God. When we trust you, he will speak with you. He will help you escape things that look like God, yet they are not. Pastor I beg to hand over. Pastor Sakura, you're welcome. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Uh, These questions, I know that we have many of them. But we are going to gather them WhatsApp groups. People on our WhatsApp groups. Some of them will be answered during that moment of the word of wisdom. Others will be handled during the session of the Zoom meeting. Others will be handled during the garage session. And will also answer uh, some today. But I'm going to read one question. I'll give it to our bishop. After he has answered it, we shall get a moment of worship. After that worship moment, our bishop will all come for us, Pastor Isaac. The question says, and again, praise God. Praise God. 
Uruwe nsonga yebie nsimbi Abuza Is it okay to start living together Before the wedding The question is In case you get a man He introduces you Or you introduce him at your place Then he tells you the wedding will not take place Due to financial issues But he suggests that you can stay together For the, mean, for the meantime Is it okay Bishop, it's on your table. Praise the Lord. I want to thank all of you who have come. Um, he's Stephen Senfuma. Your servant. My thought is simple. If you have got the capacity to do an introduction, you can still go through the right procedures. Then you gather the government. What I mean, you go through the right channel. Ask for permission. On your day of introduction, when they have informed the government, you also get the leaders from your church. On the same day, you conclude two things in the same place. Because they've already because they've already given the permission to do that. The government books are the ones we sign in even here on, at, at church. If you're a member in any church, you also inform your pastor to be around and he blesses your family. I believe that you would have gone through all the procedures of the parents, the church, and the government. But also, but every time you want to make an introduction and then you postpone the wedding, our wedding is not hard. Some people consider a wedding as feeding many people. But the right wedding is going through all the right procedures. That is what I would say. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.